Hi everyone, this is Rishabh Chatterjee and in this video, I'll be taking a look at some of the mistakes that you should avoid while answering the question, where do you see yourself in the next five years? So we have already seen what should your thought process be? What are the examples now? While you're making the answer for this question, there are a few mistakes that can happen that you should avoid. So we'll be talking about that in this video. Let's start with the first mistake that is you're being too honest. Like suppose you don't know the what is your career path going to be and in the answer you directly say uh, actually I'm not sure what I'm going to do or I don't know the answer for this. This is something that you're not supposed to say because you are supposed to think like it might not work out. It might not be the same thing that you will do later on, but you should have an answer of what do you expect to happen in the next five years. So make sure that you make a plan of what you're going to do in the next five years and don't become too honest and just say, I don't know the answer for this. And I don't know what my career goals are. Mistake two, you are being too specific. Like in your answer, you say that in one year, I want to get this position. In the next year, I want to become this. By the end of this fifth year, I want to be in this position. And you, matlab, when you are saying this answer, it should not be like this too specific because when you are working, things might change. Company might have different requirements. You might not get that position during that whatever, like after one year or two years. So if the interviewer feels like when you are giving the answer that if suppose one year you don't get this, you will leave the job. So it's not a good impression. So make sure that don't be too specific in your answers. Mistake number three, when you're giving the answer, don't give your answer like in the next five years, I want to be the director. I want to be the VP. I want to be the team leader of this. Like keep your expectations realistic. It's good that you are having expectation that you want to be CEO and possible you can become one. I'm not saying you can't. But to the interviewer, it might look like, man, this guy is like thinking something else only, which is not realistic at all. So make sure that you keep your answers realistic. Obviously, you can hope that you want to become the CEO, but in the answer, make sure that you say, I want to become this or I want to grow. Basically, your answer should highlight that you are a growth person. You want to learn and you want to grow. The fourth mistake that you can do, and this is something that should not happen at all, even after watching these videos is that you go to the interview and say, I don't know this answer or you just stay quiet because after watching all this by now, you have a good idea about how you should make this answer, but you just have to first write down the answer and then prepare talking. So make sure that you don't make the mistake that you go there and you don't have an answer. Now we'll be taking a look at few examples of mistakes that you are not supposed to make so that once you take a look at this mistake examples, you know that your answer should not be like this. Mistake number one in the example section. My long term career goal is to become CEO of the company. My mother always told me never settle for less than your best. So I plan to claw my way to the top. Mistake example number two. I see myself becoming an established sales associate within a few months. I'm a fast learner and don't need much training. After that, I would look at becoming a manager. At the end of five years, I want to be the sales team leader or managing director. Mistake example number three. In five years, I hope to have moved on to a much larger company where I can apply the skills I've learned here. I need six years of experience and a developed skill set. I want to use this position as a stepping stone to prepare for a career with the big boys. Mistake example number four. In the next five years, I want to finish my side project. My hobby is developing games for apps. I have one in the works now that I should have done in the next year or two. That's my real passion. All right, so now we got a basic idea of what mistakes you are not supposed to make. Also, we took a look at few examples. So by now, you are completely confident how you should make this answer. So start making the answer for this question. And this was the complete information. So if you found the video useful, please do click on the like button. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and also share this video with your friends too. Follow us on Instagram at the rate idioda, e -D -Y -O -D. That is it for today's video. See you again in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.